Ansible Lightspeed. This is the newest generative AI for Ansible. So technically is a technology preview and the full name is Ansible Lightspeed with IBM Watson Code Assistant. This was presented at the latest Red Hat Summit 2023 that included also Ansible Fest. It was a great event hosted in Boston, USA, but we probably heard before about this technology because it was called uh, like uh, Project Wisdom and was announced on the previous Red Hat uh, um, Ansible Fest on 2022. This was a closed beta just uh, one month before and I had the opportunity to test it out. I really like uh, this PR uh, because it exemplifies exactly what it is. So generative AI are spread worldwide and we probably are familiar with the uh, latest ChatGPT or the latest uh, Google Bard technologies. So basically, if you miss something, these are like a generic AI that we can interact like a chat box and they create for us some output that we can use in our day journey. Uh, the biggest problem of this, let's say, generic AI is that they create some code that is like generally purpose and they are not specific to one language. So the difference between Ansible Lightspeed that is uh, one of the main strength is that it was created exactly for Ansible. And also, I believe that this is part of a strategy of Red Hat to also improving the AI of OpenShift. So, I had the opportunity to test it out one month before in a closed beta and I was really impressed by the result. Let me show you how it works. Get ready for this small demo. Welcome to my VS Code Editor. As you can see, this is the latest release available at the moment. So, uh, one thing that is important is actually to search for the Ansible extension and uh, it will be the first available on the line released directly by Red Hat. This is version 2.2.69 and simply hit installing. We can even switch to the pre-release version which might have some glitch but that is the latest 2.2.70 as you can see. Now let me reload the editor. Yes, here we go. And as you can see there is a new button called Ansible down below. But now let's take a look on the setting and search for light speed. Okay, I already enabled this setting. But as you can see, there are three options related to Ansible Lightspeed. One is to enable actually Lightspeed, the URL of, an, of a server where to retrieve uh, the suggestion for our playbook and uh, how to enable the coding line. Cool, everything is sorted out. Now I need only to connect my GitHub user and this is where I get stuck probably is not uh, available for everybody at the moment. So I was in the early beta and I was able to actually connect my user without any problem. So let me wait for the next release and this is when where most of people get stuck. After connecting the GitHub, your GitHub in your editor, you will be able to type everything that you want and get the code system help you in this process. Lucky me, I have some recording of my previous beta so I can showcase the concept how Ansible Lightspeed works. So this is a simple playbook named Ansible AI on the target host all. Now let's go to the meaty part on the task list. So let's suppose we write a task named test connection. We are expecting some suggestion. Here we are. As you can see, the gray area was a suggestion directly by the Ansible Lightspeed and it correctly pick up the ansible.buildin.ping module. Yeah, we need just to adjust the indentation that makes sense. Now let's type something else, like for example, install Apache to package and we're expecting another prediction. 
as you can see there is a little round on the left right corner and we got uh, exactly what we were supposed to find out using ansible built-in packages the apache 2 on the state latest uh, was installed let me check it out that ansible distribution is uh, debian like as you probably know the apache web server has a different uh, package name on the Red Hat like system. Let me adjust the single quote and here we are. Thank you Matthew Jones for pointing out that uh, generative AI created by Ansible Lightspeed is actually a different product than uh, the generic one that we saw in the chat GPT. As you can see this uh, model gives like a um, real life prediction directly in your development environment via the VS Code plugin and super powered by the Ansible Lint. I think this is the right direction and I wonder how it could combine with even driven Ansible to even super power our automation and create a self healing infrastructure. So thank you so much. This was one of the key element of the Red Hat Summit 2023 as well also Ansible Fest. Thank you for watching. Have a great automation day and let's automate more and have a great amazing journey. Cheers.